refilm everything that I just said. Because we're at the boys' school. Uh, D's Dex Com expired this morning, so we had to replace it and let it warm up and then bring him to school because they don't want him in the school without one because he doesn't like to get his finger pricked. Uh, I'm getting ready to go to the gym. We're on our way to the gym once we get Bub in the school um, so that I can sign up. <gasps> I'm like super nervous to turn my head at all because there's like signs everywhere that say exactly what school I'm at. I had cheesecake for breakfast this morning because I was like, I'm going to go to the gym. <laughs> I just left the gym and I tripped and fell into a Big Lots parking lot. Listen, I walked on a treadmill for a half hour. I watched an entire Jacob Crookshank video. And then I walked around the uh, track for like 20 minutes. I did end up having like a 10 to, fi uh, 10 to 15 minute mental breakdown in the bathroom. Um, and then I was like walking around the track and I kept tugging on my sweater because I kept being like super fucking paranoid that it was like tucked in my leggings or something. You know what I mean? I don't know why. I will say, I will say that I look very interesting. No, I <laughs> I scrubbed my face really hard before I left the house and I didn't put any moisturizer on. So I feel like my face is super fucking dry and all I can smell is my St. Ives scrub. That's what I feel like is happening right now. I'm not very happy. Eps is going to be at the gym for like another fucking hour and I, I'm just trying to occupy my time. And also I need to get a Christmas tree, so I figured why not. I don't, I, after the gym, I did not, I will say, I did fully not expect that many people to be there at 11 a.m. on a Monday. I did not think there would be that many people there at all. But there was, there was a lot of people, a lot. I did sit in the stall for like 10 or 15 minutes and like decompress. And I thought, I hope somebody thinks I'm in here having like a mess of fucking shit right now. Like, call me shit ass, I don't care. I did it, though. I did it. I will say, though, the one thing that I'm not happy about, the experience today. Um, We added, like, it's cheaper for us to do, like, a household membership than it is for us to have two separate memberships. And he talked to, like, two or three people that work there, and each and every one of them told him something different, like, how to go about it. And the last person that he talked to was like, you don't have to wait for the billing cycle. You can come in any day and add her to it. So that's what we did. His his billing, his last time he was billed was five days ago, right? So we go in and we think we're just going to have to pay a small fee and I'll get added to it and blah, blah, blah. No, we had to completely repay the two-week fees uh, to restart the billing cycle, to add me to it and restart the billing cycle. So I'm just trying to not get upset about that because like, oh God. $26 for uh, five days worth of gem use. I mean, the girl said that we could wait till the next billing cycle. And I was like, bitch, I will not fucking get in here. I'm like, I have to do this now or I'm not going to do this at all. And then she said the other option was um, I could pay $10 a day for a day pass until the next billing cycle if I didn't, if we didn't want to or couldn't do it today. And it's like, I'm not paying $10 to walk on a goddamn treadmill. So we just bit the fucking bullet and did it. We just did it. Anyways, I'm going to go in here and look at their white trees and see if they have any cheaper ones. I checked the Walmart website and it said that they were all sold out of like anything under $50 for a white tree. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I can't stand, I can't, I can't do that. You're just, you're, you're highlighting this like it look <laughs> i don't know yeah um when i went to pick eps up at the gym we went to the dollar general and i went up and down every fucking aisle to the point that i was like if they're not watching me right now i would be watching me right now i felt like a fucking creep like i went up and down every single fucking aisle to see if they had any trees and that probably sounds like stupid but i promise you it's not and then right as we were leaving, like Epps bought a protein shake and um, right as we were walking out the door, I saw Christmas trees stacked in the corner. Like no, just, like nothing to like tell you that they were there or like any display whatsoever. And they did have a white one, but it was only four feet. So I mean, I get, yeah. 
If I were not so like desperate to get my tree up because I'm so anxious about it, I'm sure I could eventually find a white tree. That or I'm just delusional in that thought process because I'm sure after Thanksgiving is when everybody's going to be ordering them. But I still want to order one online. I don't know why. I think it's just like the whole not getting to see it before I buy it thing. I just know that that fucking tree at Big Lots was not worth that pre-lit or not. I don't care. No. Over a hundred dollars? No. So yeah. Life's great. <laughs> what a fucking first world problem. Oh my god, there's so much happening right now. I just got my wig brushed out. By the way, I wore this fucking wig outside and it absolutely became a shredded mess. I think at some point in time today, I'm going to have to sit down and put heat on it because it's so frayed. I've had it for so long. Absolutely refuse to buy a new one. I think I'm going to have to put heat on or I'm going to have to like just just put like pigtail braids in it and leave it alone. The fucking like wig slash uh uh hair extension to fucking pigtails pipeline is real so anyways i sat down i'm gonna take this white string of lights right here they're actually green and i'm gonna take them downstairs and i was gonna put them in my living room and i sat my big ass down on the bed to do that because i have to unhook it from a bunch of shit and immediately the school called, the nurse isn't there, and Dee's pod fell out. So Epps is at the store because we had to get drinks, and he needed something to eat. So he's going to pick him up while he's out. It's just a lot of happening at one time. I'm like very, very slowly but surely redecorating my living room. And I'm... I'm using a lot of stuff from our bedroom to be able to do it because we have so much shit in our room. So much shit in our room. And it's like, we have a whole house, but every time that I buy something, I just put it in my room. So I'm just slowly just taking things a piece at a time to a different part of the house to decorate. And one thing that I want to do is put these lights up. Uh, where that tapestry that I just put up in the living room is. God damn it, I should have grabbed command hooks. Command hooks. Talk words. Oh my God. Uh, while I was at Big Lots, I didn't buy a single thing at Big Lots. I didn't even get nothing. Not a drink, not nothing. I walked in, I saw the cast of that fucking Christmas tree and I left. I should have got command hooks. Like, our fucking walls are like plaster or whatever the hell it is. That shit that you just touch and it like explodes. Um... So we have to use command hooks or staples because if you try to like nail and don't even tell me about those nails that like hook into the, oh, no, they don't work. No, we have many, many holes in our wall that we had to fix from using those bitches. Like, I think we've only successfully been able to use one like twice. I'm not a fucking carpenter, okay? I'm not a fucking carpenter. I'd rather just use command hooks. And if I'm going to be keeping something up like long term, I would rather use staples. I used to use like the gummy poster shit and it sucks. Anyways, at this point, I feel like I'm just running my mouth to put off being productive. Mm -hmm. It's good stuff. It's not good stuff. It is uh, 2.30 in the afternoon, 2.25 in the afternoon. I feel like I haven't fucking done anything productive. I went to the gym and then went to two different fucking stores and failed completely at finding a Christmas tree. What a suck of a fucking day! Who the heck is Eli Roth? <laughs> I have so much faith in you, baby. You're doing so well. I feel like everyone in this house just tolerates me. Thank you, baby. I don't know. I think it looks pretty cute. Yeah? Epps was, like, terrified that he was going to, like, puncture one of the wires. Don't look at my water damage. He, he thought he was going to puncture one of the wires after doing all that work and we weren't going to be able to use them. Looking cute, guys, with my elliptical over here just destroying the vibe. That's actually where I'm going to be putting the Christmas tree. Okay, so big things, exciting thing. Uh, this vlog may end up being a little bit short. And I know that I say that a lot, but I actually mean it this time. So I told you guys a couple of weeks ago that I really wanted an iMac. Well, we put a down payment on one and it took a long time and it finally came in. 
and Epps just got the call and he just ran to get uh, drinks and stuff because he didn't get to get those while he was out. He had to run and grab Bubby really quick and pick it up for me. And I want to get it set up and I don't know how long that's going to take me, but it is a little after three. I'm going to try to vlog as much as I possibly can, but there's not going to be any promises. I have to rearrange my desk and figure out exactly where I'm going to put it and everything. Because the monitor for my desktop is fucking huge, but I also like don't want to put it anywhere else, like my desktop anywhere else like I could put it down here but I don't want like the cats to lay on the keyboard and stuff it's just an uphill battle I'm not willing to fight right now I'm so fucking excited they called while he was up there stapling up those lights and I audibly fucking screamed and went like this yeah it was very cartoonish all right we're gonna cover up the water damage on my wall with a little tiny tapestry and by the way, this water damage is from a couple of years ago. Epps and I, we had a leak in our upstairs toilet and we didn't know it until this happened and it dripped onto the TV that used to be here and broke the fucking TV. So yeah, that's how we found out. I'm just going to use this fucking double-sided 3M death grip tape to put this up. Don't look at my fan, it's gross. You can see the old tape, this is the new tape, but you can see the old tape where I used to have this up in my window. This tapestry, you want to know something really, really funny about it? It's the exact same tapestry, not the one that's like behind my headboard, but like the one that's like diagonal, that has my posters above it. And I didn't realize it. I had no idea. For about two years. To be fair, the one like on my bed, like behind my bed is like sideways. And that one was on my window and I got to looking at it one day and I was like, those are exactly the fucking same. My next mission, like when we have the money for it is to get new curtains right here. I have no idea what we're gonna do with that elliptical, like when it comes time to put up the tree. I forgot about the baby Yoda popcorn. Kind of, kind of scared me for a minute. All right. Hi, robot hand. Hi, iMac. Oh my god. Setting this up took way longer than it should have. And honestly, I'm starting to think I have a scar on my mouth that from the last time that I had a cold sore, which looks really cool. It just took me so long to get this set up. And I think the fact that my mouse, I'm pretty sure the mouse is dead, uh, didn't really help. It kind of stressed me out a lot. It's blue and I like don't care at all. Um, I'm making payments on it. It's refurbished. And uh, yeah, I'm very lucky that I have it at all. That I found it um, with a payment plan. So I'm not going to bitch at all that it's blue. I don't care. I don't even see the blue. Uh, yeah, I'm just very, very fucking thankful and got it set up. And now I'm just kind of sitting here staring at it like I can't believe I have it. I know part of me can believe that I have it. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I got this to work from. To work with, to work from. Um... The built-in camera is really good, which is nice if I ever decide to stream again, which I've wanted to do. I don't, I just, I can't comprehend it. I need to just, it's honestly like I've had a MacBook before. It's just like a giant ass MacBook. Yeah, and it's, the, the, the damn mouse is going to take a really long time to get used to. I'm very, I don't even know right now. Baffled, in a state of shock whatever i know it's like probably not a big deal to most people but it's a very big deal to me and i can't think about it or i'll cry all right guys it honestly i'm sorry for how short this is but it's after five and i want to see what i can make this thing do so i will see you guys tomorrow bye